let's see some advanced validation features of Tanstack form. In the last video, we created a simple form and we're gonna continue from there. This is our form component that is inside a card. And the last time we already saw that you can add some validators inside each field. But you can also add a validator at a form level as the form also supports the validators object. From here, you can indeed grab all the triggers, for example, on submit, on mount, on change, and on blur. And if I type on submit, you can see that I've got access to a value object which holds the values of the form. And for example, if some fields are not defined, I can show an error. But how can I in fact show this error? Let's see it in a moment. Because in the fields, we were inside the children element of form.field. And here we had basically access of the state with the related errors. But what about the form? We can indeed do something similar, for example, here at the end of our form and say form.state.error, but in some cases, this might not be up to date. For this reason, we can use form.subscribe. This component basically lets us define the selector, taking the state of the form and returning, well, whatever we want. For example, state.errors. And with that, pretty much similarly to the field component, I can add a children prop, which is now subscribed to the error field only. And here, if for example, errors.land is greater than zero, I can show a message. In this case, it's gonna be an alert from ShadCN. And after importing everything, we can already see if it works. So if I now click Sign Up, this alert appears. And as soon as I start typing something, the alert goes away. And the reason is that since I'm subscribed to the error state, this got cleaned up when I changed the form, so the error disappeared. As a side note, here we define an error that is a string, which means this error applies to the entire form and it is not specific to a single field. You can also see that by the types here, because basically this returns a validator error that is either undefined, false or null, or string, which means this error can only be related to the entire form. Luckily, this behavior is gonna be enhanced soon with a new pull request that is already open that will change the API from returning only a string to basically a string from the form and also all the errors for the fields. As a result, you will no longer need to specify all the errors on each field, but you will be able to basically define everything inside a single unsubmit and the errors will still be available here. Let's now talk about a different use case. What happens if your validation is not this simple here on the front end, but you actually have to do an API call and validate on the back end? For example, here you might want to know if the username is available. It's really simple. Let's get rid of that first. And let's imagine that there's a validate username function, which does a call to the backend and lets us know if the username is valid. For the record, here it's just a promise that after a second resolves and says that the username is already taken if it's foo, bar or bus. But let's see how it works. So here we basically just added the function in the onChange async. And if we go on the browser, we can see that if I type something, our button gets visible while the validation is working. And I can see in the console that the validation is being performed. And for example, if I type foo, after a second, it will say that the username is already taken. If I change username, after a second again, the validation happens and this is valid. Now, there's a debounce of 500 milliseconds on the validator's async and I added a fake delay of an extra second on the API. But if this runs just faster, the validation will be even faster. So this is valid and this is not. But now let's say you still want the local validation. Well, it's not a problem because both onChange async and onChange can live up together. If we test it now, as long as the sync validation returns an error, the async isn't triggered at all. So here, if I clean up the console, you see that as long as there are two characters only, nothing happens on our backend. If I go on the third character, then we have our backend validation. If I go back on two, then the sync validation kicks in. But let's say I want to inform the user while the async validation is running. How can I do that? For example, let me wrap this input inside a relative div and see what happens. If I go back on the browser, when I type something, you will see that this spinning icon will appear while the validation is being performed. And this is possible because as you can also see from the VR code indicators, 
I added this field dot get meta dot is validating block, which basically just shows and load or circle. So if you read the meta of the field, you can have some extra information about what is going on, for example, the arrows, but you can also know if there is a validation going on. And with this indicator, you can get an even better user experience for your users. One more case you might be interested in is that if you have a password that has to match to another password, task type form has linked fields which we're gonna see in a second. Let me add a confirm password here. I can duplicate the form field component so that I can have my confirm password. And now let me change a little bit this validator. We're still gonna use on change, but in this case, we're not gonna check about the value of this field, but we're gonna say that on change, we want to listen to the password field. What happens here is that every time a field in this array changes, the on change validator of this field is triggered. In addition to value, we can get access to the field API, which we're going to use to read the password field. So here, for example, we can return that if our value is different from the other value, we print password do not match. And if we try this on the browser, I can type one, two, three on the password and it already says that password do not match. I can type one, two, three here and the passwords are now matching. Now, if I change again my password, it will again trigger password do not match. And this is thanks to this on-chain license too. Without this extra field, if I type something here, it triggers that they do not match. But if I type something here, it no longer update this one and passwords are now matching. For example, if I add a character and I remove passwords are indeed matching. So this is really important to have cross validations and actually trigger the validator when something else changes. The last thing I want to show you today is that if you do not want to manually do the checks here, or if you have a model defined with libraries such as Zod, you or Valibot, you can indeed do that. They're supported on Tanstack form. Uh, let's see how they work. First of all, you obviously need to npm install Zod, for example, and also Tanstack slash Zod form adapter. This will basically let us use Zod right into our validators objects. The only extra step is to make sure to add a validator adapter inside each field using the validator. And here, for example, we can use the Zod validator we just installed. And now on the onchange function, I can entirely replace all the content and now the validation happens automatically through Zod. But if you do not want to specify each validation rules here in line, this indeed works if you have a schema defined somewhere, you can directly go use it here. And now with username schema, which prints username must be a list three characters with three exclamation marks. I jump on the browser, click sign up, and the username must be at least three characters with three exclamation marks. And this was a glimpse into some of the advanced validation feature Tanstack form is currently supporting. The next video of this series will be probably about arrays and dynamic fields. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss the video. Click like if you want to support my work. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.